right, we're back. So we're going to go ahead and drill um, drill that hole. That's got to be a 330 seconds reamed hole. So I'm going to drill a 564 and then come back with my um, 330 seconds of an inch reamer. So let's go. Drilled and tapped for a, a 540 thread. So I'll just do that without moving anything. I'll just center drill it, drill it with the uh, number 38 drill bit, I believe it is, and tap it with um, a 540 tap. So let's get started. Alright, so we gotta drill a, a clearance hole for a 630 second screw. So uh, it's my engineer's black book and it says calls for a number 18 uh, drill bit. Um, and then we'll countersink it. Uh, so it's it's uh, flush. So uh, I already have my uh, bring it back and focus here. And um, so I'm going to put a center drill on there and then we've got a number 18 drill bit. We'll drill it through and then we'll do the uh, countersink. Alright, I've got my countersink in there. Thank 
Okay, so all I did was turn the piece of work over. I have a stop here set up. I've been referencing that. So that should uh, this half inch end mill should be right on center with the uh, clearance hole that we drilled before. And uh, I got to take this down. I, I got to put a, a 132nd of an inch deep slot across. So um, let's get going. All right, so we finished all the operations on the base of the engine. Um, everything is, this is the piece that we made. Um, and um, pretty happy so far how it's coming along. Um, so uh, I guess in the next video, um, we'll be tackling the, uh, we'll be tackling the uh, flywheel bearing here. Um, and that'll, That'll be low, that'll fit in right in this uh, slot that we milled out, held in with a 632nd uh, flathead screw. So, um, all right, hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, looks like a little fun project, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.